everyone welcome to smart math online tutor through this video we are going to look further into different forms of graph the first form is y equals plus or minus x plus b whole thing squared plus c look at this example y equals minus x plus 2 whole thing squared plus 2 where the range of x is greater than or equal to minus 5 and less than or equal to 1. Let's make the table to find out the coordinates. Here, the first row is minus x plus 2 squared. So, when x is equal to minus 5, then minus 5 plus 2 is minus 3. So, minus 3 squared is 9. Since we need the minus of x plus 2 whole thing squared, the value becomes minus 9. Likewise, we fill in the table. Then, plot the graph. Remember the tips I have already shared in my previous video regarding plotting the graph. This is how the graph will appear once plotted. Look at the features. Maximum value is 2. Turning point is minus 2, 2. The graph is symmetric along the axis x equals to minus 2. And the function is positive when x lies between minus 3.4 and minus 0 0.6. And it is negative when x is less than minus 3.4 and when x is greater than minus 0 0.6. The rules of the function are x equals minus 3.4 or x equals minus 0 0.6. Moving on to the next example, y equals x plus 3 squared minus 4. Follow the same method to fill in the table and find the coordinates. Then plot the graph. Now look here. The graph looks like this. Study the features carefully. Minimum value is minus 4 and the parabola turns at minus 3 comma minus 4. The axis of symmetry is x equals minus 3 and the function is negative when x lies between minus 5 and minus 1 where it becomes positive when x is less than minus 5 and when x is greater than minus 1. The roots are x equals minus 5 and x equals minus 1. Let's look into some simple tricks to find out the features of a graph by looking at the equation and without plotting the graph. In this form of graphs, the positive or negative sign at the beginning decides whether the graph is a maximum or a minimum. If it is positive, the graph is minimum. And if it is negative, the graph becomes a maximum. Look at this equation. Here the square term is positive. Therefore, the graph attains a minimum. But in this example, the square term is negative, since that the graph attains a maximum. The maximum or the minimum value of a graph can be found by the C in the equation. In this equation, the value of C is minus 4 and that is the minimum value of the graph. And in this equation, C is equal to plus 2 and that is the maximum value of the graph. Let's see how to find out the turning point of the graph by looking at the equation. The x coordinate of the turning point will be the negative value of B, that is minus B. And the y coordinate will be C. So, minus B comma C is the turning point of any given graph of this form. Look at this example. Here, B is 3 and C is minus 4. So, the turning point is minus 3, comma minus 4. You can confirm it from the graph too. Look at this example. Here, B is plus 2. So, minus B will be minus 2 and C is 2. So, the turning point of the graph is minus 2, comma 2. Now, let's see how to find out the axis of symmetry. The minus b of the equation is equal to the axis of symmetry. So, in this case, 
B is plus 3, so the axis of symmetry will be x equals minus 3. In this equation, B is plus 2, so the axis of symmetry will be x equals minus 2. You can confirm this by looking at the graph too. Let us see how to find out the points at which a graph cuts the y-axis. Look at this example. Here the square is positive. Therefore, the graph will have a minimum. The coordinates at which the graph cuts the y-axis are given by 0 and b squared plus c. In this equation, b is 3 and c is minus 4. So the coordinates will be 0 comma 3 squared is 9 that minus 4 is 5. The graph cuts the y-axis at 0 comma 5. Look at this example. Here the square is negative. Hence the graph will have a maximum. The coordinates of the point at which the graph cuts the y-axis is given by 0 comma minus b squared plus c. Here, B is 2 and C is also 2. Therefore, the coordinates will be 0, 2 squared is 4. Since we need the minus value, we take minus 4. That plus 2 is minus 2. Therefore, the coordinates at which the graph cuts the y-axis is 0, minus 2. The next type of graph we are looking into is of the form y equals plus or minus x plus a into x plus b. Let's pay our attention into the table of coordinates of the equation y equals minus x plus 1 into x plus 3. Here the range is from minus 5 to 1. Remember here the first row is the value of x. Next we put minus x plus 1. Here we add 1 to the x and get the minus value of it. That is, if x is minus 5, minus 5 plus 1 is minus 4. When it is multiplied by minus, it becomes plus 4. The next row is x plus 3, where we add 3 to the value of x. Unlike in other tables, in this type, we multiply the digits in the second and the third row in order to obtain the value of y. That is, 4 into minus 2 is minus 8, 3 into minus 1 is minus 3 and so on. Plotted graph will look like this. When we look into the features, the maximum value is 1, where it turns at the point minus 2 comma 1 and further the function is positive when x lies between minus 3 and minus 1 and it is negative when x is greater than minus 1 and when x is less than minus 3. The roots of the function are minus 3 and minus 1. In this form of graphs, too, we can find the features without plotting the graph. Let's see how to do it. Look at this function y equals x plus 3 into x plus 1. If you see clearly, the function is positive. Remember, any function which is positive will always attain a minimum graph. To find out the rest of the features, we should clearly identify the value of a and b in this function. In this case, a is equal to 3 and 1 is the value which is equal to b. Now let's see how to find out the coordinates of the minimum point. What we do is we substitute the values of a and b in the formula given. Minus of 3 plus 1 divided by 2 will be the x coordinate and the y coordinate will be minus of 3 minus b that is 1 so 3 minus 1 whole thing squared divided by 4 once when you simplify we know 3 plus 1 is 4 4 into minus is minus 4 minus 4 divided by 2 will be minus 2 and 3 minus 1 is minus 2, minus 2 squared is 4, 4 into minus is minus 4, minus 4 divided by 4 will be minus 1. So minus 2 and minus 1 are the coordinates of the minimum point. To find out the equation of the axis of symmetry, we substitute the values for this equation. Minus of 
3 plus 1 divided by 2. 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 into minus is minus 4, minus 4 divided by 2 is minus 2. So, x equals minus 2 is the equation of the axis of symmetry of this function. Now, let's see how to find out the points at which the graph cuts the x-axis. Here, minus a is minus 3, comma, 0 and minus b is minus 1, comma, 0. So, these two points are the points at which the graph cuts the x-axis. To get the roots, x equals minus 3 and x equals minus 1. So, here are the roots of the function. The points at which the minimum graph cuts the y-axis can be found by using this formula. 0, a into b is 3 into 1 and the point will be 0, 3 into 1 is 3. Look at this equation. Minus of x plus 3 into x minus 1. Here, since the function is minus, the graph will attain a maximum. To find out the remaining features, we should identify a and b as before. So, a is equal to 3 and b is equal to minus 1. Now, let's see how to spot the maximum point of the function. You can use this formula to find it. Let's substitute. Minus 3 minus 1 divided by 2 will be the x coordinate and the y coordinate will be 3 minus of minus 1 because we should substitute minus b there. We should put minus 1 and then whole thing squared divided by 4. Once when simplified, you will get minus 1 and 4. So, this is the maximum point of the function. Now, let's see how to get the equation of the axis of symmetry. Here is the equation. Let's substitute minus of 3 minus 1 divided by 2. 3 minus 1 is 2 into minus is minus 2. Minus 2 divided by 2 is minus 1. So, x equals minus 1 is the equation of the axis of symmetry of the given function. The points at which the graph cuts the x-axis is given like this. So, minus a there will be minus 3, 0 and the next coordinate will be minus b that is 1, 0. And the roots of the functions will be x equals minus 3 and x equals 1. The point at which the maximum graph cuts the y-axis is given by 0, comma, minus a, b. Here in this case, minus a is minus 3 into b is minus 1. So, minus 3 into minus 1 is 3. Therefore, the point at which the maximum graph cuts the y-axis will be 0, comma, 3. Hope I made myself clear regarding these two forms of graphs, their features as well as how to find the features of a given graph without plotting it. See you with another smart method. Until then, goodbye.